So we're looking at the advantages of having a uh, hacked PlayStation 3 with the 3.55 firmware. I'm going to quickly go through the Mega Drive emulator, which has just been released. That's the well, the 1.2 version has just been released with the improved sound. Uh, we've got the Mars System, NES, and Game Boy emulator. Got Final Burn, which is arcade games, Capcom, Konami, Taito, that sort of stuff. Not quite mine. Almost mine, but not quite as much compatibility really. Uh, VBA, which is well, Virtual uh, Boy Advance, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, uh, and SNES 9X, which obviously <laughs> self-explanatory. First of all, let's do Mega Drive. If we just boot that up quick, all the games for this have saved on the USB stick. So if I go down to Dev USB load that up, we're going to MD ROMs, I've got quite a few in there, not loads but quite enough I think, right let's, let's go to Sonic the Hedgehog just to give you an idea, Sega! so obviously as you'd expect they run full speed and uh, if you know a little bit about it these games run at the same speed as their Japanese counterparts, which the original, obviously original English ones didn't. Original 50, uh, original English games ran at 50 megahertz, and Japanese one run at 60. So that's a bit of a bonus, really. Um, yeah, you can see that running pretty well. Right, if we come out of this. Next, if we go to this one, which is like the Mars system, NES, that sort of stuff. If we boot that up, it takes a couple of seconds or so. I don't know why it's got to go back to this screen every time. You would have thought it just jumped straight into the next game, but strange old thing. Right, here we go. Right, uh, so I've just got to locate the ROMs. I've, I know where I've stuck them. I know it looks a little bit confusing, but don't worry about that. So, I've stuck mine in, well let's go to Master System ROMs. It's, uh, everyone loves a little bit of Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Let's go and do that. Yes! Love a bit of Alex Kidd. Come on now, let's kill those scorpions and those frogs. Get that mummies. And obviously NES works for this as well. Um, we should be able to. That's it. Come out of that. If we go change game, go to NES ROMs. Uh, just put a hundred games on there. Downloaded. Well, I'm not going to tell you where I downloaded them from actually. Let's just go to something everybody knows. Bit Mike Tyson's punch out. Definitely can't be bold ball on this though, it's just too hard. Yes. Oh shit, hit the wrong button there. Mike, he's waiting for your challenge. Yeah. Anyway, so you've seen that. Let's go to the SNES one. Everyone loves a bit of Super Nintendo. Again, it's the same sort of familiar file browser you find in a lot of these. Lot of these emulators so far on here. I've saved my games to the hard drive. So if I go down to SNES ROMs, put some uh, nice classics on there. Obviously, the game everyone wants to play, Super Mario World. As you can see, runs absolutely perfect. Brilliant.
But there's one emulator which is obviously this this is what it's all about. And I'm not actually stealing these games, I actually do own them. And uh, the next one, I'm believing enough, I do own these as well, because I actually do have an arcade machine, as you can see there. See? So I'm not thieving, I actually do own them. I am just a retro enthusiast. Uh, let's find something. Let's go all the way to the bottom. And... Let's put some credits in. Yes, love a bit of WrestleFest. A bit of Ultimate Warrior. Geezer talked absolute shit, didn't he, the Ultimate Warrior? If you actually go back and listen to his like pre-fight talks, he used to talk about getting up in spaceships and all sorts of weird stuff. Got that in, put him down. Anyway. Luckily, I've uh, two PlayStations, which is why I don't mind don't mind hacking this one. Uh, this one's actually my Japanese PlayStation. It's an old fat release, uh, 60 gig. I bought a Japanese one as well as an English one. Really, I bought this one just so I could play all my uh, Japanese PS2 and PS1 games. I've got some got some nice classics actually while we're here. See, uh, your Kung Fu Collection, Cat Maui. Various uh, Sega remakes, Outrun, Virtual Racing, Decathlete from the old Sega Saturn, uh, Fantasy Zone, Virtual Fight 2, and Wonder Boy Collection. Got every single Wonder Boy game. And obviously, you can't have Japanese PS2 without having Knights, the old Sega Saturn classic. I'll tell you what, a quick bust out of that now because I'm sure most people don't even know this exists. So let's uh, let's get that going. Just have a quick oh shit, just drop that. Even the manual's done like an old Sega Saturn manual. Classic. Nice bit of class. Have a quick look there. Nice. Let's scroll up. And so yeah, we can play an old PlayStation 2 game. Bang. Oh. oh I've got to make a memory stick. Create a new card. Create PS2 one, yeah that'd do. Thank you. Everyone loves a bit of nights on the on the PlayStation. Well, Saturn PlayStation. The PlayStation one's much better though. The draw distance is far higher. The textures are better quality. Um, it runs much smoother, much better. It's it's just much much better. Let's make a new game. Yeah, yeah. And also, the other bonus about having it on PlayStation is all the uh, FMV like this, all DVD quality, unlike the Saturn, which was grainy as shit. Oh, what a fucking game. Oh, let's just get it started. Sega Saturn Dream? Because you can have the graphics exactly like they were in the Saturn. They look proper terrible, so might as well just go straight for a brand new dream. Well, I've got to try and do this one hand now. Great. 
I'm actually a lot better but I'm just doing this one hand um, so it's actually quite difficult but yeah you get the idea I'm gonna stop the video now I'm gonna have a quick cut of this while we start loading to YouTube so uh, yeah goodbye and that's the, uh, the benefits of having a hacked PlayStation 3 and also a Japanese version and uh, having knights as well you can't beat a bit of knights everyone loves knights Right, there it is. Right, see ya. Bye bye.